You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Uriah Faber ready to go for round one. When he was in the WEC, there were a lot of first round finishes. Not so much in the big show yet. But in talking to his camp, they believe there's an opportunity for him to get a quick finish tonight. We'll see if that holds true and Faber can get off to a good start tonight. Nice front kick lanes for the kickboxer there. And I guess on the other side, DC, if you're the wrestler, gotta be undeterred, still gotta figure out a way to get this fight done. You gotta keep pressing. You gotta keep going forward trying to get those takedowns. You also gotta recognize that that kick coming right up the middle. And if you can time it correctly, you can change that into a shot that will allow for you to get the takedown. Big knee to the body, man alive! Oh, left hook. He sets this really high pace with the hope that his opponent can't keep up. And we've seen him do it. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh, uppercut. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Faber is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Strong outside leg kick. Oh! to the body. Back and forth we go. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo all night mixing up his weapons. Absolutely beautifully on the feet. He's mixing them up beautifully, and he's doing a great job of recognizing, hey, this is where I'm best. I know my hands are great. I know my grappling's great, but when I get these leg kicks going, no one can go with it. I'm showing again why Jose Aldo's just a man. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Faber gets hit by that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Quick level change now. He went, oh! oh. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or am no, I grab my last round? It's over. It's over, John. He drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Nice punch to the head. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is held on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Try to establish that jab. 
Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. he has got to change something. Favors and half guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Both fighters back to their feet now. Under two minutes to go. Let's go. I need you to be first now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Another picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. One minute to go in round two. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come here and try to stop the fight. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage? Good round. Stop. It's close. It's a close one, man. I need you to go out there and give me everything you got. Keep putting the pressure on. Put that pace on him. He can't keep that pace. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let you ready to fight? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Aldo's trying for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a lot of connections. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Shout out to him. That takedown was time beautiful. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Superman punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice job by Faber defensively there. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. It could be whipping like this and only exhaust you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock the opponent out, you're just catching air. If it's oh, that's a perfect body shot there, he's hurt. I mean, that's unbelievable. Faber is looking for that arm triangle. Oh, he's in trouble. Good job by the champ there. Nice 
job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhook somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, oh. one thing you can't do is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off that stool, and this is a real test of your real desire. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Faber's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's got the core oh, position locked in now. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Let's go. Oh, great reversal to top position by Al. Oh, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand. Oh, nice shot there. He's lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He's not been able to see them. It's a very... Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Wow, that is a great submission defense. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Faber gets back up again. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Trying to establish that jab once again. in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the door. Faber goes in for the takedown now, and he gets it. Nice fight IQ there after he had gotten stunned on the feet. Aldo gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the ground. <laughs> These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Strong outside leg kick. Oh. 20 down, oh, five oh, oh. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready is going. Fight. Ready. Go Fifth and final round.
And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Leg kick is true. He's just being... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Big right hand lands. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Good jab. Quick entry. Oh! 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 All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him. Oh, 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 he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. And that'll do it. Oh, my goodness. Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Oh, right, we now go inside the octagon. <laughs> The man I swear I care about the coat, but I get under your affairs is what I care about the most. The man world when it's going off, got me dissing your monthly dissidents. The man I write a practice and we get the practitioners. Eating them alive, it's like I'm needed them for sustenance. I'm out here getting big like they've been feeding me some supplements. Never follow them for they've been moving shambolic. My side will be getting money, that's socio-economics. Heard them on every verse, and there'll be several discrepancies. Have them up, it's nothing but death in your destinies. Set the template from what I've written on a piece of paper. And if I were, we won't be needing any mediator. Feeling comfy, you're then spot that I'm studying. They're claiming they didn't hear, 